This video will focus on the attendance tool in D2L 10.3. Though it takes a bit of time to set up, the attendance tool can make both tracking student attendance and participation and sharing those attendance and participation scores with students fairly simple. To set up and start using the attendance tool, you can choose attendance from the grades menu or click edit course and select attendance. The first thing you'll want to do is set up your attendance schemes by clicking on this link here. In D2L, the attendance scheme contains the statuses or scores you can award students for attendance or participation. The default system scheme is simply present or absent, but you can create a new scheme if you want to add a tardy option or have the scheme reflect student participation using excellent, good, fair, poor as a system or some other scheme of your choosing. To create your own scheme, click New Scheme. Here is where you will create your attendance grading scheme. Let's say I want to add a tardy option to my absent present scheme. I'll start by naming the scheme. I'm going to use my name in the scheme title to make it easy to find in the list. Then I type symbols and names for the various levels of attendance I want to be able to assign to students. I'm going to use P for present, A for absent, and T for tardy. If I wanted more than three options, I can type the number I want to add here and click Add Statuses. And I can delete extra statuses that I don't need by clicking the trash can. Now notice you also have the option of assigning percentages here to each of these levels. This can be helpful if you're awarding a grade based on participation. In the default scheme, present is worth 100% and absent is worth zero. If I were adding percentages for this scheme, I might award 75% for tardies, but you can set this up however you want or you can leave this field blank. Once you have the scheme set up the way you want it, click Save, and then click Close. Now that we have our scheme created, we need to set up a place to actually record attendance. In D2L, that place is called an Attendance Register. To create one, I click on the Attendance Registers link, then click on the New Register Form. For a name here, I'm going to use Click Here to View Course Attendance. You'll see why I named it that at the end of this video. And I'm going to make sure to select the scheme I just created, Amanda's Scheme, from the drop-down menu. A couple of other things you could mark. If you set up percentages for attendance in the scheme creation, you may want to set a certain percentage as a cause for concern, so it will alert you if a student is below that percent. And this box here sets whether or not students can see their attendance scores when they go to the attendance link. Finally, down here, I have the option of limiting this attendance register to a specific group if I choose, but I'm going to leave all of these at the default for now. Finally, I'll need to create sessions for this register. In D2L, a session is any class or meeting where attendance is tracked. You can label these however you want, perhaps by date of the session for the session name. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to use a generic class 1, class 2, class 3, and leave the session descriptions blank. Notice you can add sessions and delete them in the same way that you could add items to the scheme. Now let's look at actually how you use this register to track attendance. To do this, you'll access the attendance screen the same way you did earlier, either through grades or through the edit course menu. Then click on the name of the register you want to use. Then you'll need to click on the assessment icon in the heading of the particular class session you are tracking that day. I'm going to pretend it's the first class and I'm going to click on the attendance link for class one. Now I'm at a screen where I can mark attendance by using this drop down menu next to each student's name. Notice that if you want to have the name sorted by last name instead of first or vice versa, you can change the order by clicking either the last name or first name link. Now my names are sorted by last name instead of first. I can also change the status of everyone in the course at once by selecting all the check boxes and clicking set status or clicking up here set status for all users. This makes it easy to set attendance for the class very quickly. If the majority of your class is there and on time, you simply have to mark the entire class present and then change the statuses for any students who were either absent or tardy. And click Save and then Close. The results that you just inputted will show up in the chart. Now I'm going to show you what this attendance report looks like for the students and how students can track their own attendance scores. Now I've switched to student view and I'm going to look at my attendance scores as a student. To do this, students choose attendance from the grades menu and then they click on the name of the register. This is why I called my register click here to see attendance because there's really nothing that would tell the students that they have to click here to view it. So click here to view course attendance and then the students can see the sessions listed here and what the instructor recorded as their status.